In 2015, over five years ago, 12 humans were massacred and more were injured because of some dumb cartoons. Can you imagine being such a weak-minded fool that you really think you have to go out and organize a major attack and shoot people, take lives, spill blood because they drew some cartoons? Because they depicted a character in a comedic way and you find that very inappropriate? Can you imagine being so insane that you think this is what you need to do and the creator who created you, who will wait for you when you die, will reward you for that? He will appreciate you. That he approves of that. The creator of the universe, of everything, because of some dumb cartoons. What kind of messed up, stupid, idiotic, imbecilic, primitive mind is that? Someone who takes an actual weapon, a gun, or a knife to shoot people or to behead people and to watch them bleed. Imagine Allah watches you up there killing people over some stupid cartoons and he thinks, wow, that's very good, well done, good job, boy. When you are here, I will reward you with 72 whores, because that's what you deserve. Yes, there are many people in this world who actually believe that this is about roughly how it works. And the same people will accuse you and me of being sick and being unreasonable. This weekend, another such sick individual brutally took the life of a human, a teacher, whose only fault it was to show those cartoons at a school in order to discuss the topic of free speech, a value that is crucial to the West, to Western civilization. The only thing that this teacher did was to show these controversial pictures at school to discuss freedom of speech. A Chechenian Muslim man waited in front of the school where the brave teacher Samuel Putty taught and then decapitated the teacher in the name of Allah, took a photo of his head, posted it on social media. He declared that he did this to punish the teacher for belittling the holy prophet Muhammad and also called out to French President Macron who defends such free speech, as he should. So many people on social media who are like-minded with this terrorist celebrated what happened and made excuses because the teacher apparently deserved it for belittling the holy prophet Muhammad or that this is wrong but the teacher asked for it cutting someone's head off and taking a photo of it for belittling the holy prophet Muhammad. We don't really need to belittle Muhammad. Muhammad was an idiot, a pervert, a maniac, a deceiver, a child molester, a liar. And killing humans for belittling him is something that only small-minded, sick, disturbed morons would do. It certainly doesn't deliver a good message about Islam and Muslims to anybody. Pretty much everyone who hears about somebody killing people over cartoons will think worse about Islam than they thought before. Killing people for Islam kills Islam's credibility. It makes it look more evil and more laughable than Islam already does. Even many Muslims across the world feel more and more ashamed when they hear these things, especially those who live in more developed cultures. And they want to associate less with such a fragile, such an embarrassing, such a sad, pathetic, threatening religion. Is that really how people want to invite the world to Islam? It's really very surprising that people are Islamophobic, right? When Islam keeps coming up in the public, in the news, for taking lives over cartoons and similar nonsense, then it is of course very shocking that people associate violence and fear and hate with Islam, isn't it? Offended by jokes and cartoons. Now people will mock Muhammad again and draw more cartoons and engage in more mockery. That's what people naturally want to do. That's how people express how disturbed they are and how ridiculous they find it. That it is really dangerous to draw a cartoon of a deranged 7th century prophet who declared war on the world, but that we should not offend back. It doesn't even matter what he did. It's just some man. It is a public figure, a figure that concerns billions. Some people may love him, others may hate him. They are free to do so. Both feelings are equal. No one has authority over this guy. After 1,400 years, he is at this point only merely an idea, nothing else. You can think whatever you want about that idea. And speaking of it, please, I can take these and do whatever I want with them. I can put it in a frame and hang it up here behind, behind me on the wall. And here's my version. Look, how do you like mine? It's right here. I find it beautiful. <laughs> now I could write some stuff on here like moron or
idiot or child molester. How about this? Can you read it? Here, idiot, moron, child molester, molester, molester. But this doesn't count, right? Hmm. How about this? No, I don't, I don't want to write anything on this. This is actually me. But how about this? This says Mohammed. Very prominent. You can find this calligraphy everywhere. What if we add stuff to this one? Is this bad? Is this offensive? Should people be killed because of this? If I add, for example, uh, what should I add? I don't want to add a penis. That would be very immature right now. But how about this? It says, F*** this guy. Can you see it? Can you read it? F*** this guy. How about... Hmm... It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. How about this? Now, how, how does this look? Pervert, Mohammed. <laughs> oh, by the way, here's, here's his uh, colleague, Allah, by the way. This is his colleague, his friend, Allah, is also here, tiny. You see it? Here. Right here. But Muslims don't care enough about him. They want to protect Mohammed more than Allah because it's a cult. Here's my final product. No Allah, screw Mohammed. No Allah. Pervert Mohammed, f this guy. More people will be offended by this than by the brutal beheading of a teacher for daring to show pictures in order to discuss the idea of free speech. Pictures that he probably doesn't even show for the purpose of celebrating them. But hey, are we really surprised that some insane people go out and kill people in the name of their religion, in the name of Islam? Why should we be surprised when there are Muslim apologists who advocate for the same thing, just in different ways? Those Muslim apologists who advocate for the execution of apostates and critics of Islam in an Islamic state are not very different. They are not very different from those terrorists. No, they are pretty much the same. It is high time for these Muslim apologists to come out and condemn such actions, to come out and condemn the killing of apostates, the killing of critics of Islam unconditionally, regardless of how, condemn it universally. Because if you defend it and advocate for it with the excuse that you only want that to happen in an Islamic state, as if that was any different, then other people, like your terrorist friend who beheaded a teacher, will take motivation from you and simply disagree on the methods. Seriously, f*** these terrorist apologists. And f*** Mohammed and his dumb companions. And f*** you too if you think people deserve to be killed for this. And f*** you too, if you think killing goes a bit too far, but the victims were guilty and asked for it. And f*** you too, if you think the killing is wrong and should only take place in an Islamic state under an Islamic ruler. Anyway, you get the point. Long story short, f*** you. Stop killing people. I know there are so many Muslims out there who are disturbed by this, and it is time for those to come out and do something, to say something, to condemn such atrocities, not to stand by not to support them only under different conditions. Stop being defensive, stop talking about Islamophobia, do something about that problem, solve it. Don't talk about how this is not a problem of Islam or that those people are not Muslims. No one buys that anymore. Condemn it, end it, dissociate with it, because nothing else works. Many of you don't want to be associated with that. Do something about it then. Thank you, and stay away from Islam.